Hi, this is Jose de la Portilla, and welcome to Toolbox Tuesday. Today we're taking a look at the Amprobe TH1. It's labeled as a relative humidity temperature probe. I'd say it's a little bit more than that, because if we take a look at the features, it is going to do temperature anywhere from negative 4 to 122 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, or that's negative 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. It also measures dew point from negative uh, 4 to 139 degrees Fahrenheit. It also measures wet bulb from negative 5 to 59.9 degrees Celsius or 23 to 139 degrees Fahrenheit. Its accuracy is 0.1 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got a relative humidity range of 0 to 100 and its relative humidity accuracy comes in right around 3 to 4 percent. So it's got a wide range of temperatures. It measures in decimal points. Uh, easy to redisplay, stores your mins and max. So I don't really consider this just a relative humidity probe. This is really a pocket-sized psychrometer. And look, we've talked about the values of having a psychrometer before, but if you want to know how to charge a system that's got a fixed metering device, you've got to have a psychrometer for indoor wet bulb temperature. If you want to calculate total heat of a condensing unit or of air conditioner of what it's absorbing, you can take the wet bulb numbers, convert them to enthalpy. So this is a, a really compact, small, easy to carry psychrometer. So let's take a look at what it works, how it looks, and see what's in the packaging. So I slide the cardboard out. I've got the psychrometer. Comes with a little CRO32 coin battery, or a CR2032 coin battery. Inside here is your user's manual, full of great data and information. Amprobe has a great website also where you can go download the documents should you want to keep them on your phone or your tablet uh, so you can refer to them electronically and not have to carry everything around. Uh, looking at the device, it's got a clip so you can clip it into your shirt pocket. Uh, first thing we need to do obviously, change the battery. So let me get my handy Leatherman here and take the battery cover off. Now the key to this, if you kind of zoom in here and take a look, when you put this coin battery in, the positive side of the battery is going to be up, but it's got to slide underneath that little tab. So it's kind of got to go something like this. Let me get my fingers in there. and So you can kind of see that that one little tab is laying on top of the positive terminal. Uh, you don't do that, you're going to get upset, you're going to get frustrated with it because it's not going to power up. And when it comes time to put the battery cover on, notice that there's three different tabs that are off center from each other. So you've kind of got to find the sweet spot on how to line it up. Probably have a little more patience than I do with it. But then, once it lines in, just give it a twist, okay? Really neat feature about it that I love is, you know, this is a uh, psychrometer, so it's got to have a really finite sensor in the tip of it to measure temperature, relative humidity, and wet bulb. Uh, but it's got a cover on it. If you notice right now, you can't see the sensor at all. But when I give it a twist, I can reveal the sensor. This way, if it's in your shirt pocket, you're climbing through an attic, you're in a dirty space, it's bouncing around in your toolbox, debris and stuff isn't getting into the sensor. So let's see what it can measure. First off, we'll just power it up, turn it on. Let's go ahead and get this little protective covering off of it so we can get a good display. And right now, what we're reading is relative humidity and the air temperature. To change it, all I have to do is here, if I can see there's a Celsius and a Fahrenheit button, so pick your scale you're more comfortable with. Relative humidity will always stay on top, but right now we're just reading dry bulb air temperature on the bottom. If I push the mode button, I can toggle through air temperature. I can toggle through dew point in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. I can toggle through wet bulb. And finally back to air temperature. I can do a hold to lock it on the reading so I can write down my measurements. I can release the hold. And of course it has a min and max function so it'll record either min or maximum ranges that we select. All in all, really handy, easy to use little sling, a little electronic psychrometer replacing that sling that we used to use. I like the protective cover over it. Uses a pretty common battery to replace it, and you can get some quick, accurate measurements. 
For those of you just starting out, if you need a psychrometer and you don't have one, this is a real cost-effective method to get a psychrometer because without it, you're never measuring the conditions of that system right. So get one so you can always measure dry bulb, wet bulb, relative humidity, dew point, and have a good understanding of how your system's operating. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in to Toolbox Tuesday, and we'll see you next time.